Hi everyone, welcome to Basic Science Series. I'm your host Lokinder Kumar and today we're going to start the uh, first video of our PyMole tutorial series that will focus on making publication quality figures using PyMole. As you already know that I have started this series to explain various settings that are available in PyMole, various tools that we can use to uh, make uh, nice protein structures and that we can use in our uh, students' reports, in, in the research articles, and also in our projects. So right now what you're seeing on your computer screen is the interface of the PyMole software. So uh, I'm going to show you that that what are these different different uh, panels for example in in uh, in this particular window i can show you that that on the on the top we have upper control panel okay so this particular uh, section is known as upper control panel as you can see we have a lot of uh, options that are available for us for example we have file edit build movie display setting and these all have various sub tabs that we can use uh, to make the publication quality figures on the right side uh, what you're seeing is the object menu panel in the object menu panel you can uh, you can see a s h l c Right now, I don't have any protein structure here, so I can't use that. Uh, so we're going to use those uh, those various uh, different different uh, settings for object uh, menu panel when we have the protein available in the display area. So and this is known as the display area. All right. So if you are aware of this series, uh, I've already made one video how we can use protein data bank and what are the different features of Protein Data Bank, what are the uh, options available uh, in the Protein Data Bank, how we can download the files, structure files from Protein Data Bank. So let's start by importing the structure using uh, PyMole software. So one option was that you can download directly from PDB. Second option is you can use uh, PyMole the control upper control panel to download the structure file so i'm going to use that particular uh, uh, option that is available in the pymol uh, software so as you can see here this is the uh, section where we can add commands so if you are um, if you are familiar with the uh, coding languages like python or other languages you will find uh, this particular section very very convenient because using this particular section you can directly add commands and and also you can write scripts and you can run your scripts uh, on uh, using that particular section so we're going to start with the uh, first command that i'm going to show you is fetch command so write f-e-t-c-h fetch and it's going to grab the structure from pdb data bank directly uh, and import that structure so you need to provide the four letter code of the protein in my case the four letter code is 2uv0 so it's a very simple command just write f-e-t-c-h and the four letter code and press enter now what you're seeing is the uh, crystal structure the three-dimensional structure of the protein of that particular four letter code so uh, this is very convenient that you can directly import the structure and you don't have to go and visit the uh, website to download the structure but if you do not know the code for that particular uh, structure you need to visit the website um, for protein data bank uh, and then download the structure from that particular uh, website or you can note down the structure and use pymol uh, pymol command line to import the structure 
So first I want to move the protein and I'm going to see different parts of the protein. So how, how I can do that, I need to press the uh, left button on my mouse and then drag the protein in the direction I want to move, right? So you can, you can see I'm pressing the left click button on my mouse and I can move the protein in this direction as well as in the other direction. So this is how you can use the left click button on your mouse and then move the protein around. You can also use the same setting to move the protein in other directions. So this, this was the use of the left, left click button on your mouse. You can see I can I can move around the protein structure. It's really useful when you want to see different parts of the protein. Now, what I can do with the right click button. So if I press the right click button and then move around, try to drag, what is going to happen? Uh, it's going to zoom in and zoom out. So you can see I can go really, really close to the protein structure and see the uh, various parts of the protein in either direction is going to zoom in and zoom out. It's really useful when you're trying to see the ligands and trying to see the structures that uh, are uh, in the binding pockets of your protein. So this is very useful. Third important command is you can also use the scroll button in your mouse and then move the full protein and uh, change its uh, position on the display window. So if you press the scroll button and then drag, your whole protein structure molecule will move. So I hope you understood that command that you can press the scroll, the, uh, the central button present in between the left and right click button and then you can move the protein around. So it's very useful to combine all these uh, mouse settings and then you know move around. So I can uh, I can move around and if I want to change the position then I can I can zoom in and immediately I can zoom out and then also move the protein around. This was uh, the first important thing that I want you to get used to while you are trying to uh, make structures. Now let's go to the object menu panel, which is present on the right side. Here, what you're seeing is first is all and second is the 2UVO. So that is basically the uh, structure of the protein that you have imported. If I click on this one, so right now I can't see the protein, so it's turned off, right? So now to see the protein structure, I have to again click on this particular tab now the protein structure is visible so I can see uh, that now all my sub tabs A S H L C are active for this particular structure what is A? A means action when you click on this one you can see uh, action is written and then you can perform various actions one of the most used action is preset in preset, you have a lot of uh, different options, sub options available, uh, and it will give you the uh, settings for that particular uh, particular option. For example, if I want to use the preset for publication, it will directly change my protein into a structural format that I can use for my publication. Now let's move on to the second tab, which is S means show. In show tab, what you have is you can see the structure of protein in various types of settings. For example, you can see as a stick model, sphere model, ribbon model, cartoon model. Uh, let me show you uh, one of the um, settings. For example, I can show you the sphere model of the protein. Now, what you're seeing here, all the atoms that are uh, shown here and they are the uh, these spheres that are present in our protein structure. Now uh, there are stick model of the protein. You can also see the stick model, but you have to 
uh, it is really important to know that you have to hide first. So there is sec uh, another tab which is H means hide. So you can hide. For example, I can hide everything. So now I I can't see the structure of protein. Then one by one, I can show the first stick model. Then I will go back to the hide. I will hide everything. Then I will go back and then I will see the cartoon model. Now you have color. So you can color the protein uh, according to the, the elements, according to chains. And right, if you want to see different chains as a different color, you can use this setting. So this is also pretty convenient uh, to show different parts of the protein. Let me quickly show you some of the settings that I use for my protein structures. So first I will change the display. So I will go to display and I will change the background to, you can change it to opaque. Uh, for now I will, I will make it as a white background. So, so that it looks good on my document. And then I will go to display. I will change the quality. So I will do, I will change it to maximum quality. So how I can save this image, I can go to file and then export image as PNG. One option is that. But if you are using a licensed version of Pymol, you will have another option available right here, which is draw ray session. Uh, if you click on this one and you can change the uh, uh, specifications of the image, I will keep it like that and you can uh, draw fast and you can raise slow. If you raise slow, your quality of the image will be high. So I'm going to press it and I'm going to uh, try to save a high quality image. And now you can, you can see that the background is no longer white and it's completely transparent and I, I can see some shadows. So this feature is only available when you have uh, the licensed version of Pymol. So now the image has been saved in my document section. I can copy uh, that image from that and paste the image in my PPT file. So here is my PPT file. Let me zoom in and I will right click and paste the image. And now you can see the image clearly on the PowerPoint presentation. And let me just crop the section, the unwanted section of the image. And let me zoom in and I'll show you the various uh, uh, features. So now you can see the structure of the protein and you can see our four domains. You can see their ligands. So this is how you can make the final structure of the protein and you can save it as a PNG file and use in your presentations. In later videos, I'm going to show you how to make uh, different types of protein structure uh, and how to show the lichen binding pockets, how to show the labels for particular amino acids. So that and you can also change different different settings in that uh, particular section. So please subscribe to the channel so that you get updates on my videos and we can work along on this particular series. So for now, thank you for watching the video and if you like the video, please press the like button and if you want to support my work, you can visit my Patreon website and support me for my work. Thank you and take care.